Hey guys, uh, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel. This is where I vlog, family vlogs, well, vlog or track my surrogacy journey, my second one. I was a surrogate, a gestational surrogate in Canada in 2018 to 2019. I ended up giving birth to a little girl in 2019 in May. Um, and I decided after the COVID stuff settled down a little bit, I would go again. And now I am in the process of waiting to be medically cleared for surrogacy. But I wanted to do some fun things for you guys. I love cold brew, but going to Starbucks every day was getting expensive. And this is my daughter, Amy. So I decided to start making it at home. I cannot do brewed coffee hot and then put it over ice. That just wrecks my stomach. I found if I brew it in cold water overnight, it's a lot more gentle on my stomach. And I think I found I have a few other people feel the same. So it's quite simple. Just get a big dish or a jug or something that you can hold a lot of water. You can hold about four cups in this. Um, I've seen people get big huge jugs or mason jars from Dollar Store or Dollarama or wherever you have, whatever dollar store you have. Um, but I just, <coughs> bless you, I just have this container. This is what I've used before. So what you do is you fill it up with cold water. So once you have your cold water, then you can get your other things ready. Do you want to help me? Bunnies. Bunny break. What are their names? This one? What's this one's name? What's this one's name? The names are on the bottom. I can't see them. I think this was yours. Yeah. So this one's Amy. And this is? And this is Noah. Her Lana lost its eye and the eye came off. But I think we got it to stick. But I'm for too now. scared. So I'm just going to leave so. it. Um, let me just leave it there. Okay, Lana's yeah. gonna join us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just laying there. And so, what is this? I'm making cold brew. And so basically you get whatever coffee filters you have. These are the ones uh, my boyfriend bought because he loves coffee, so he got a coffee maker for when he comes over for movie night or whatever. So you get, for four cups, I put two. So in each of these, you're going to put about four tablespoons, or I think this is a two ounce thing, so I put two ounces and a half, so three ounces. I'm not even going to be near that anymore. I, so. I can't do math, apparently, so. I'm just going to be in the background. Have your coffee, whatever you have. This is the one he bought. I'm backing up. It's good enough. It is classic roast. I'm good enough. literally sad. I used to use dark roast. Whatever you have is good. So then you fill up the container and put it in the cup. So I put one in here, so I put half, and then I put... Ew, it smells. Yes, it smells. It's coffee. It's not And then I put one and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then you get, grab elastics or hair ties. I just have hair ties laying around, like, all over. And you bunch it up, and then you secure it 
with hair ties. And, and then we secure it again with hair ties or with elastic, whatever you have. So I have two here. So now, and put them in the water. You just put them in the water. <clears throat> and it takes about overnight or 12 hours to get. To the brood consistency but the longer you leave it the more flavor it will have i usually brew these for 12 hours and then i get it in the morning and enjoy my cough first cup of coffee and then i put it back with these still in it in the fridge and then when i take it out for my second cup of coffee that's when i take these out usually by my second cup of coffee it's the next day So now you have your jug or container. So I would say yeah. six ounces of coffee grounds yeah. for four cups. <laughs> so cute. Huh. Interesting, huh? I'm trying to show the flow in you. There you go. I'm just shaking. Okay. So you have four cups of water and six ounces of coffee grounds in your little pouches. So then you put it in the fridge. So now it's in the fridge and you wait. I'll check back in with you guys in about 12 hours. Bye! Good morning. Coffee is ready and I will get it out. So it has been 24 hours brewing. Um, it's a nice dark color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out the bags but keep the hair ties. So what I do is I just keep this in the fridge and then pour cups out as I need them. Sorry the angle is all wonky. Uh, I'm using a sleeve of ramen <laughs> as a tripod. So I'm just going to show you how I make my coffee in the morning. Okay, so I grab my cup. I like using my blender bottle because it has a lid. And if I need to go somewhere, I can travel with it. I do have like dollar rama tumblers but they're tiny so they don't hold much coffee so I put ice in this about four or six Then I add my milk or creamer, and right now I have this. It's the silk vanilla oat for coffee. And I put a good amount in there. Good morning, Amy. And then I put a half to a quarter scoop of protein powder and try not to make a mess but it's morning on Sunday so it's hard to do that so I add stevia or another sweetener and then I put that in all about eyeballing it And then I have my vitamins. I don't know if you're not supposed to combine it with caffeine, but it says you can combine it in drinks. So I'll show you how I do that. So you take the capsule and you break it 
like you slide it out and you pour it in and then you have this empty capsule that you can just throw out so then I add my coffee and lid on lid done up and put Okay, so it should be shaked up enough. So this is my iced coffee that I like in the morning when I'm on a budget. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked my content, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be told when I will upload again. Follow my journey. I post on Instagram. Um, but technically, I have a Facebook. Dolly. Dolly vlog um, and then I also post vlogs and short stories for 18 and older on local media. All my links will be below with any other information that you might have questions. If you have questions, leave them in comments. <laughs> Thank you and I'm gonna have a good day hopefully. Bye. Mwah.